Good evening, my name is The Hurt, this is Scar De Group Plus EU. Um, if you don't like the sound of my voice, please go to the main menu, go to mute, and trim under the ferret. And okay, so see a game in action. Doors open, blue is streaming out quite nicely. Demon jumping off. Nice thing, nice thing with this map, Demon get a nice jump before it can get to those battlements. Doing quite nicely, actually taking quite well. The rest of the blue team hasn't really pushed up as expected. And the points are generally going, but not as fast as some games. Oh, here they go. Swift take, cap by B. A is taken. Now, Red is immediately on the defensive. They're hoping for a bit more time, really. Um, this might be a rollover, really. As you know, with the group, no real special tactics. Uh, grab your sword, fight the horde, and just pretty much kill everything. Uh, which Blue have been doing uh, pretty well, actually. Um, and that was a plain single rollover. Now, what I would say with Degroot is that the uh, favoured class of choice is definitely Demon Man. I mean, especially with the half Satoichi, that thing of regenerating health all the time is incredibly, is incredibly good in a long-lasting fight. And as you can see, all the Demon are using it. Okay, the doors are out. Now, Red are actually in the field, counting quite hard, brewing and pushed back quite heavily. Axe is flailing wildly. Uh, what's happening on ramparts, though? Um, yeah, this blue team hasn't really got off to the great start the previous blue team did, and are generally getting massacred. Now, to be fair to this game, there is no real special tactics involved. It's pretty much generally see the opponent and hammer them or chop them to death as quick as you can. And we're not talking like um, you know dust bowl levels of complexity here. We're just talking you know hit them and use bravery. Alert! Alert! The control point is being captured. Now, blue are starting to underway. Capping the points very nice. I think red actually uh, caught a lucky break there. Now, the thing we've got to remember at this point, though, is that it does go in 60 seconds. So, you know, red have a reasonable amount of time to defend that, but if that point keeps capped, it's going to be a pain in the arse for the duration of the game. M6 going for the secret cap there, trying to get behind him. Oh, can he can hold it? Not doing a bad job. Oh! Pifu there takes him, takes her, her out, and what was it? Be a stealth cap there? Nope, didn't happen. Now red team are not doing too badly. They should keep blue occupied outside the gates, but blue needs to be pushing up harder. They just don't seem to the urgency of the previous team. Although they're getting in there, it's beginning to turn into a mess. Um, blue have managed to hold the area pretty well. They are losing here and there, but oh, I've got to be careful, spies. Very much so in this game. This is one of their favourite arenas. Medic in their try his best. Blue still streaming in. This is quite good from Blue Team. Now I think you put the pressure. They should better win this. Ooh, they just just got the cap on that. Now it's going to fade, but they actually managed to take it, keep the overtime going on that. Okay, they're streaming in hard now. Now, ideally, the med medics should be using the amputator. They're healing up their, t healing up their team ma mates. And that got pushed. Very nice work there from Blue. They actually just kept up the pressure, stayed in, charged in, used bravery. You love bravery in this game. And eventually got that map. Okay, round three. We'll see a team with a good defense this time. Doors are out. And they meet in the middle. Oh. Fighting the ramparts as usual. With blue team seem to be winning right at the moment. Blue actually pushing everywhere, taking the ramparts. This is a rollover in progress. Now, point B is the only thing they've got left as team. 
Uh, that is also going. Um, ball in there, holding, trying to hold out for his team. Trying to be in the opposite word. And now they've got a hold to the back. CTX there, using the pain train. Now that's um, inspired usage there. Hopefully getting the cap, cap, caps in there quickly. And also without the uh, bullet vulnerability damage in there, actually a reasonably effective weapon. But it's got nothing on the prestige of the uh, big sword, not the reach or... Well, that's, that's quick over again. I'm not sure what these red teams can do to stop this. I mean, they could they could have you know better huntsman snipers, but I doubt that's really going to do the trick. I'm afraid this game does come down to sheer skill and just generally twisty turny bounce of you know how melee combat usually goes of just generally confusing and disorientating. Okay, it's open once more. M6. Taking the balcony. Fight. Trying to fight for the balcony up there. Oh, Jognu takes him out with the Ubersaw. Now, the Ubersaw is not an inspired choice weapon in this particular game. It's got less um, hit time, you know, slower speed. And it builds Uber, but you, you can't use Uber guns in this game, so there's no real point to uh, taking it. Okay, it's red team, though. Keeping hold of the points. Bind time. Now, nice work there. It, it, Jog knew there, uh, you know, he, not the greatest of weapons he's got, but it, it, he's definitely making it work. Okay, brown trousers time. Oh, Chris going straight in for the point. Now, this is the usual uh, Demetrian Derby that happens, where basically where blue starts capping and then red shows the need to defend the point, and then everybody gets boxed into a small area and starts mashing each other. Now, what we haven't seen so far in this server is um, some of the other classes. I've seen a ca uh, occasional soldier here and there, which with the buff banner could be actually quite funny. Or something along those lines. I mean, the scout here with a, um, what's it, the uh, fan of war, can be a little, quite a trolling character. Gets in there, mini crits somebody, and then that person's bound to die in a melee. Blue team still on the point. Red team mostly have it. Generally a mess in there. Red team's actually fighting well. They actually managed to defend the point reasonably well. And the gate's down. Nice. They actually managed to put the gate's back down again. Uh, that's gonna both points again for, for blue. Now, if they can regroup quickly, they can start seizing a point Alert. back. The control point is being contested. The control point is There's being a fight contested. for A. Dr. Vodka there. Nice work. He's got to the point. He is trying to defend it. Jognu's in there. Okay, rest of the red team has decided to, you know, help out. Oh, unlucky Jognu. Snipes off. Okay, red team's got, uh, got, got organised. They're holding that corner. That's a nice little bit of a corner there. Quite hard to actually get in because it's quite a bottleneck of an entrance. However, red are losing and it's gone again. Now down time for the dirt defence. This is moving up unless it's oh through there just gets a nice crit with the um I can't remember what it's called but nice work anyway. Heavy with pan. Now that is a troll tactic. Eat sandwich. Um, hopefully you can't get killed in that time. Then cr crit pans. That is gotta be the most trolling tactic I've seen so far in this match. Simply eat a sandwich in face of enemy. Don't die and then hit them with the crit pan afterwards. True, you can't plan the crit that you know plan on the crit pan going off, but still that was just. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Red are reforming reasonably nicely. They're still kind of dying. Now, it looks like I think they've held their ground. Blue hasn't really made a comeback. He's that guy again. I can't really say his name because he's more of a face. I call him Face Man. He's using the pan. There are three medics on blue team now. You know, none of them are using Crusader's crossbow. They have to just remember those things can actually be used um, defensively as well. So yeah, they are healing up their teammates. Blue haven't managed to get back in there, and they're going to lose that. Um, time's running out on that door, so and it will just generally go. However, a few plucky individuals are trying to take the, take the cap point. 
They just not there in force this blue team. They're a bit strung out. Pan Heavy's going. Oh no, Pan Heavy destroyed. Well, I would like maybe suggest it's Buffalo Steak Sandwich. A bit more running speed, pan ability. And if this blue team is desperate, they're trying for this point. People are dying. There's a medic and. Now it's just down to a medic, and he's also dead. And this red team has really pushed them right back out. Now 20 seconds left. Oh, is this going to be a steal? Oh, this is coming down to this. No, the defenders are there already now. If Blue wasn't a bit quick on the flag, that they might have actually got the cat and won that. Eight seconds though, it's all coming down to overtime now. It's getting derpy in there. Blue are winning this from the looks of it, actually. They're getting the kills in they need. Oh, Blue get the steal. Nice work from Blue there. I mean, uh, I, was, I can't really say work as such. It's, it all comes down to the... I'm going to call it luck. I mean, there's no way you can really like say you can proficiently fight in you know, a confined space, whirling around and attempting to you know, stab somebody to death. Okay, it's round four or five, I've lost count. Four, three, two, one. The doors are open. The blobby's going straight for the ramparts. On the ground though, blue team isn't enthusiastically com coming out as Okay, we've got finally got a fan war scout. Is he gonna do his thing? Maybe see that later. S stay tuned. Now, this team hasn't really gone for the points just yet. Just yet, they've just started. Craven's on it. He's going for it. Oh, there's that pan pan Now, unfortunately, Zadok there gets killed in where he needs it. Yeah, Blue hasn't shot the push here. This red team, you know, they've got the skill on their side. And they've just... Yeah tricky. Random there, using the um, amputator there to good effect. Okay, Red have concentrated on A, letting B go. Now this is probably a best defensively, so they can just stick one area, get the entire team on it, and they should be able to hold this pretty well. Nikita be marked for death, running away wildly. Trying to get away from the scout. Okay, eventually Blue managed it to the point. They're moving in, there's no, nobody's really contesting him there. It's hasty defense. Oh, there's nobody on the point. It's Jognu. Pretty good, but he can't hold the, the entire enemy team. Oh, it, it, it's Jognu capping the point. There's nobody stopping this guy. Where was, where's blue team? They should be streaming in by now. Here they come. Okay, this blue team. Oh, they're everywhere. It's carnage. <laughs> it's that fan of war. Generally annoying everybody. Oh, doesn't get away with that. Now, the thing I do like at medieval, medieval mode is that it does force the people to be brave. You know, the problem is with TF2, I find, especially with the newer players, that they don't really get involved in the game. They, they tend to like, play in a very standoffish manner, don't really tend to move in as much as you expect them to. And in this mode, it's great because you have to do that. So the newer players are a bit unaccustomed to it, and eventually they, 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 they kind of get into it and they start... Okay, it's blue. Blue taking this point. Oh, yeah, that went. In so far, the um, favour here has been on the um, attack. Defences are seemingly finding it quite difficult to get. Round six. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Nice bit of healing buff there from Medic. Down man on the roof. <laughs> Here's that Fan of War and a great effect. I think that's where the Fan of War really helps. You don't use it as basically a main melee class, you use it as a backup guy in a fight. I think all the scouts get the idea they're using the uh, Fan of War. However, okay, it's random. Moving in by himself as Medic. Trying his best. Unfortunately, he didn't get ball in there. Uh, going for Bonk Cola strategy. Now, that's that's annoying. If you can actually just keep yourself bonked for most of the time and generally annoy and distract the opponent, yeah, that can actually you know make a difference. Now, this blue team haven't got the main way into the courtyard just yet. Maybe not combat class, I don't know. Alert. The final control point is being oh, there they go. Ooh. We're seeing that, you know, Fan of War coming in handy here. We're seeing like a couple of kills, you know, made by this weapon. And it does really work if you use it properly. You don't, don't go in there like wholeheartedly. You know, <laughs> just help out. The nice thing with Scout is, though, if you can use the Scout properly. I mean, um, Boston Basher with Scout is a dangerous weapon to use, but if you use proficiently, very nice. You can get up to your enemy, hit them and run away and just let them bleed to death. Actually, if you're able to use the Sandman and the Cleaver here, I mean, that's a great combo. You'll be one of the best ranged classes in a melee, melee mode game. Now, we're still Hulk trying to take the point. M6, going for it. Still alive. <laughs> it's that scout again. I mean, scouts really shouldn't get into these massively heavy fights. They should be a bit more mobile. Hit and run tactics. Now, this red team, though, are getting these nice slices in. Now that's eviction notice heavy with a um, steak sandwich. Those guys are so much fun. To I love playing that um, fast. And if you keep critting people after crit, after crit, it demoralizes people so quickly. It's really fun to do that. Okay, blue still. You know, I don't know why they've got so many medics. I mean, I, no disrespect to me. I think they are the other, you know, ranged class along with them. Um, thingy. They don't have the uh, aim problem as um, you know the huntsman does, so they can just fire off one shot, which is actually quite nice. We haven't seen the engineer types, but to be fair, the engineer in this medieval mode is there's no point. You, you can't really do much with the wrench. Now, Red is waiting here for the Blues to come to the gates. I mean, they have they have this lockdown. <laughs> now, Blue needs to push out, but they're just not turning up really. They're not going at this with enthusiasm. Okay, now they came back. Oh, this is looking like a win for Blue. Red needs to. Oh no, it was a, a taunt stoppage. That was a last minute steal for Blue. I don't know how they won that. I thought the Red had it there, but I think they came over the top. Dislodged Red positions. They were expecting to come through the front door, but something came over the top. Had to move back to get to the point, and I think broke the formation. Round 7 or so. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Oh, thanks, yeah. 4, 3, 2, 1. Everybody's out. Battle medics. The most legitimate form of medic in this game. Okay, red defending not, not well Alert. pretty well here there. The okay, the point they're losing the point, but they have got the ramparts. And now they got B left. Can they hold it? Mr. Blobby tried. He's down to the uh, <laughs> main defence again. This blue team's already in here now. I can't remember what that weapon's called. The um, ah, oh, I hate myself. There should be a comment that should know this, but those those fast pyros they really make a difference. 110% speed, 175 health, and a weapon that hits pretty hard. That's a great combination for a class. I mean, no class. The pyro is the only class that has a reasonable amount of health, 175, and moves 100 speed. That's why those guys are so dangerous with flamethrowers ordinarily. Mission begins in 10 seconds. 
The door's open. Oh, Jogner gets a nice strike in there. The control point has been alert. The control point has been alert. Pushing up the points. Snipers. Jognu. Random Jognu. Battling for B. Now, this is the thing. Those demo men. Demo men are the primary class in this kind of fight. But to be fair, this whole map is named after demo men. Okay, we're finally seeing some uh, bat scouts coming out. <laughs> Unfortunately, punished there by Nikita. But that's the way that these scouts really, if you're playing um, um, Sandman Cleaver Scout, you're really not supposed to go in for close combat. And you do so, you know, when you sense smell victory. That's the whole thing with Scout. I mean, they play, they play remarkably similar to how they play in the standard game. You don't really go in for the direct, direct attack. You attack around the edges, try and go for weak guys. Generally, pester. You leave the demo man to just generally chop around incoherently. You have a ballerina heavy. It's amazing. Sazok. Now, he's using the winter gloves. Now, those things are dangerous as anything. Deceptively dangerous. Catch somebody from behind and, yeah, that guy's dead already. I mean, Blue win that again. I mean, this is the thing I'm seeing here. There's, I've not seen a good red defense so far. I'm not sure if there's a winning knack or trick to this. Perhaps throw all eggs in one basket and sit on a point and hold it to the last man, perhaps. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, the other thing we haven't been seeing four, here is uh, Gerati three, disabled in this game. Two, because Gerati will be another amazing thing for a um, sniper to throw into a battle. There they go. Alert, alert. Now, these blue teams, they're quick off the mark. And this, this is the problem with the red team so far. You, you don't seem to see them actually move in to defend the points. They're usually going to attack the main body of the blue team, the main part of the field, and side members of the blue sneak around the sides and get to the points. Ball in there, trying to... Oh, nice work. Come on, ball. Oh, ball in. Lovely work. Mono heavy there. Didn't defend the point. He was a bit countered there, but nice job. Takes up a bunch of, bunch of guys there. Hope he does more what makes the point. Now, blue are not moving as... You know, enthusiastic girls thinking they might do. I mean, the air is relatively empty. And it's getting messy in there. It's a, it's a taunt kill. Ooh, misses. Now, that's a tricky tactic to use. Taunt, taunt king in a corner, hoping somebody gets in there. But you didn't need to do that anyway. Ooh, sorry, a bit of lag there. Um, yeah. Convincing with blue. Again, we're not seeing these red wins, these really quick blue victories. So this is a match. Nine. Oh, scramble. Now this might we might see something more interesting here. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go, stun balls. Use them. Fire them in. Keep them busy. Okay, yeah. Okay, this time we're seeing red teams moving more towards their points. Try and defend them. Low head there. Nice effort. I mean, playing, sni playing sniper, try to melee defend the point. Now that's what you got to do sometimes. Now, ball in there has got the right thing with heavy. He's, heavy's one of those classes that simply you just wade into a fight, especially with the uh, especially with the right gloves, and you can just get in there and just start hitting you and take hits. Nice. Okay, nice scout work there. That's brilliant. Mad Milk also been incredible aid to teams. Throw it into a crowd, and you start healing the crowd as they hit. That can actually win you an entire fight. Red team is holding. They are generally keeping this courtyard clear. Damn it outside, are keeping them out. Oh, the door's shut. 
people are in and out. There's one scout trying to make his way out. Can he escape? He's going for it. He gets away with it. Nice work there from Biscuit Monster. Now, after all that, the blue cap is straight away again. Um, red maybe need to be quick on the defence there, but maybe they're a bit too battered. And what we've got here? Oh, I think we've got soldiers there trying to taunt kill their way to success. Can be done. It's about for last again. Red seem to be having the advantage here for the moment. I say for the moment, a few lucky stabs later. Now they've got to start moving out from that area. Make sure to keep blue away from the point. You don't want to get into dirt fights in the corner. Yeah, this red team is doing a pretty good job. They're holding. They're not dying too fast. They generally keep them at the gates. They're not. Anything that gets low over the top, they've got to deal with. Usually, demo men. They don't like paratrooper class this game. Gates down again. Now, can this red team reform quickly? Control point is being contested. Now, blue's already grabbed A. Now, what's happened for B? Some fight for you, it was a scuffle. Um, I think it was a spy that tried to get in there. Sniper gets in there, damn oh, Okay, a bit of a brawl now for B. None of none of guys you I'll be hoping to get in there, but we're gonna make up for it in the main field now. This will be a problem. Points getting capped. Um, not so many defenders as one would expect, but they are stopping the supply of them. Red team doing pretty well here, actually. This is a strong red team. Now, this is this is the problem every time. It seems that seemingly blue teams start winning in this, you know, pit fight. And if they start getting wins, it they just, you know, get the caps in and do it too long. The gate doesn't come down. It's all the moving factors. We'll keep blue really off that point. Nice work there from Faceman, uh, using a uh, other little caber. It's a disaster weapon with this game. With the charge on Harjo, 50% less blast damage, great, nice combo. Now, where is red teaming? Blue are just streaming in now. Is a panic situation, it's a rake. We've rarely seen Garden Rake, I mean, in standard play, doesn't see too much. Much more of a um, roaming backburner weapon, that is. Okay, this red team has rallied quite well, actually. They've managed to get the point back, push back out from it. Ten seconds on the clock, and no another dirt, dirt fight on the point. No, where is red team? This red team needs to take this point now. Oh, criminy! This blue team is trying to throw everything at medic. Medic bailed. Um, red team are holding this, but it's coming down to the sheer overtime factor. And red wins it. Very nice work there. I mean, I'm not sure how this red team did. I think they just maybe had more skill. I saw them taking the battlements, but. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, this is a um, commentary. Uh, if you don't so, yeah, this is a commentary. If you don't understand my voice, please go to the uh, main menu, go mute. My name's The Ferret, so that'll turn me off real quick. Anyway, this is round, round 9, I think, or 10. Well, I'm losing count, these are very small, quick matches. And there are paratrooping on the roof. Now this is a problem with red teams here, they can't seem to get out quickly enough onto the ramparts and get down to the defensive area, eating up the points quickly. And um, you know, they're finding it quite difficult, and because these flying dermen come in. However, this red team is holding. Okay, it's taking a bit of time getting to point A and B. It's a very quick... Oh, criminally, there's already something on point C? 
This red team is doing its job quick. There is a lot of casualties. I haven't seen the fire axe in a while now. This red team is barely holding. Um, they're running out of guys. Okay, red team may have just contained this, but blue should be following up very quickly after this. Now I'm up out here. Keep at the gates, perhaps. Yes, this is uh, being is being uploaded to YouTube. Um, um, one second, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll actually give the oh, sorry, I'll give the um, details at the end of the um, session. That's okay. Oh, and it's that Elipal Caber guy. It's S3 Pony capping. Here come all the emergency red team guys. Now that seems to be a qualified tactic. Sitting in a corner is a dangerous tactic. And what happens is if basically the rest of the enemy team get around you, you can't move. And that traditionally leads to slaughter as you can't dodge and you get hit and get killed. However, though, there's a big brawl going on. You start putting out a um, taunt kill. You can kill quite a few people in the corner. If you're lucky. Now, Face Man tried doing that, but <laughs> he got punished for that. It's a, very, it's a risky tactic. You'll do it when you know he's looking. I think I did once see a uh, soldier move in there, completely un unmolested. Nobody saw him, and he blew himself up and killed about eight people with him. It was the funniest thing I've seen on the server. It's other Paul Caber time. Um, yes, I think he killed at least one person. This red team is holding very nicely. They're just the and there was a down. Okay, now this red team have got a grace period. B's already lost, but I think if they go for A, they might be able to forestall this enemy team. However, enemy blue team are making this difficult. They're actually on the ball, keeping red from actually getting to those defense points. And this blue team are already in force on A. Uh, There'll be another C fight again. Now, um, Biscuit Monster had no chance. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure who that was, but the Spy got in there, immediately killed. The spy has real problems in the server, simply because they can't cloak. He actually be using that Dead Ringer, ideally. And if he wants this guy, you're going to need the Eternal Reward. Tricky at the best of times. Maybe perhaps one thing for new beginners for the demo man classes, instead of taking the charge and charge, charge and charge is an excellent uh, shield. I mean, it's more, it's, I hate to say this uh, with too much um, enthusiasm, but it's more of a pro weapon. Um, it's not very new friendly. I mean, the bash on damage only is like something like 10, so it's very minimal. Um, whereas the bizar uh, bizar Bizarre Bargain is the uh, Arabian shield. That does damage equal to the amount of distance you travel, so it's a lot more friendly if you can't get the timing in. But it doesn't offer the uh, same amount of resistance. I mean, the charging targets, fireproofness in the main game now, has completely changed everything with those derpy um, Demo Man Pyro duels now. Mission Demo Man can now really compete seconds. with a lot of gusto now. Sixteen seconds on the clock. Now the derpy defence. This is going to run into overtime. That sniper just went off the side of the cliff. That was quite funny to watch. And it's coming down. They're moving through. And it's overtime. Forty seconds on the clock, though. So we have some time. Um, but this red team is just hit here, there, and everywhere. So far, I still haven't seen Girati yet. Now, uh, Girati in a, in a pit fight would be amazing to see. <laughs> that should really, really just wreck everything. In any case, though, red team is just holding this. Um, 
Oh, you can't use Jurati? Now that just seems that seems out of order. It seems medieval enough to me. Perhaps we were probably too effective, so they just probably disabled it. Real pity. Okay, match eleven, I think. Anyway, blue team are out. And in so far, generally advancing. There's a derpy fight with one demo man <laughs> outside the blue spawn. Red are reasonably holding. They actually have A quite well. Um, they've lost B. I think it's all hands A now. Phoenix right going as heavy. Can he get the punches in? I mean, uh, those KGB gloves, when they start activating, are amazing to watch. Oh, chopped at the back of the head. Now, they've lost the point. So it's now down to the dirt defense. Now, I'm not sure if uh, you guys can see this, but for me, maybe the game is glitched, but the gate is only halfway up. In any case, though, Red Blue haven't got to this point as quick as I would expect. Um, maybe a little slow on it, but. Okay, now they're getting there, but there's so many Reds in there. We have a heavy with the um, gloves are running urgently. Now, that's a tricky weapon to use. 50% uh, less damage, but it does give you that speed. Um, now, back in the days when they introduced the Buffalo Steak Sandwich and the gloves at the same time, uh, both of them used to be able to stack, which which was immediately uh, nerfed. Because you'd have like insane heavies running around faster than scouts, punching people to death with crit, mini crit punches. So that came off. case. Blue, blue try out, isn't it? You know, we're not seeing the agency of other teams. Okay, here comes another KGB heavy. Blue's on the point, and his game win. The real problem part of, it, part of this um, commentating is, is just finding who's going to win. The problem is that these are fights are so derpy, so random, that you really can't tell who's going to win a pit fight, and somehow, you know, one team just wins. Commentary 12. Well, round 12. Three, two, one. There they go. Flying down man squad. But I haven't been keeping score. Mostly it's generally the attacking team wins. Uh, that's what I've been measuring. So I've been keeping our defences. B's already gone. Is, is A going to hold? A is holding somewhat. Now, okay, the red team is there. Now, what happened there? I mean, whoa, our blue, oh, our blue already on the point. Oh, punished. Straight out. Nope. Blue cut team on streaming through the gates, killing everything in sight. Trying to kill everything in sight. Oh, it's a KGB heavy. It's dangerous. Is Phoenix right? Oh, nope. Shot in the face. There is just so much derp going on here. There's only one medic on the point. Blue up struggle. Oh, cr and oh, that's a, that's a quick win for Blue there. Nice work from Blue. Now that's the thing with the red team for this point. You really, really have to stay on this point. Lose it for a s lose it for two seconds, and it's just straight, straight cap loss. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Gates are out. Alert. The control point has been. Okay, A is already going down. Is anybody's defence? It's Pony. Phoenix right. Come on, Phoenix. I, I do I do love a good heavy <laughs> heavy brawler coming out. 
Okay, they're holding A. Actually, B is also reasonably holding. This team's actually defensively doing very well. They, they don't usually survive behind the first minute mark. Alert. The control point is being contested. Now, the thing with these uh, other points is they're a bit larger, and you have to try and stay on them. Now, this gives you room to manoeuvre. It's not a derpy pit, derpy back end point three fights where it just pretty much comes down to a box and hoping to hit somebody in the box. These ones have got a little bit more finesse to them. B is just about holding my fear. They've been overwhelmed. Yes. Blue team have taken it. Uh, a bit late there for... Um, sorry, who was that? CTX. Get in there. Take somebody down. Can you get the last person? Very nice. Uh, late defence, but, you know, takes people out. Point C is already going. Now, this blue team here aren't moving in as quick as expected. Where, where did that Darren Man come from? Was that a... All I saw from this camera here. Nice work from Marbles there. I think he got a mid-air stab on one of the Darren Man, and you just see this guy falling out of the sky, crashing into the floor. That was hilarious to watch. Okay, the final... Um, I think the shy winning there, showing his impressive, you know, uh, boxing skills, gets shot in the face for it. Now, yeah, there's some, final point. Some damn man waiting around the tops there, so you get good kills in. Oh, this is worrying. Yeah, defenders are getting in and making sure that thing comes straight out of there. I think we'll be careful here. Red team are just about holding this. Ooh. Now that's where that little charge and charge is actually really handy. In very short bursts, it can actually be quite damaging, quite beneficial. And that's a straight up win for Blue Team. Another one of those fights where if you get stuck in the court C too much, you will win that game. 